A Tampa clinic helps fit people from children to wounded veterans with artificial limbs. But recently, the clinic received a request like none before. Our Allison Morrow shows us how the staff was able to help one remarkable dog. West Coast Brace and Limb is filled with stories of triumph. Children, combat veterans living normal lives thanks to a laboratory equipped for the most challenging of requests. Like the one they just received. We'll try it and see what happens. Jason Red just made these molds of his patient's paralyzed legs in order to make new ones. And his patient, Spencer, is minutes away from trying them on. But he doesn't know any different. He doesn't know he's different than other dogs. Spencer's owners found him on their front doorstep, his back legs completely paralyzed. Their veterinarian suspects someone likely dropped or stomped on him as a puppy. So he doesn't feel this at all. This one has been a problem. Because Spencer drags and injures his paws, he's never even gone on a real walk. His whole life, he just spends at my feet, looking up and crying. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, take me here, take me there. Jason's never fitted a dog before. He's not even absolutely sure this will work. With people, you can kind of tell them, please sit still. I got to hold it in this position. Now equipped with custom braces and green Crocs, it's up to the two-year-old bulldog to take the first step. And right away, he does. In fact, Spencer ran up and down the clinic hallway so many times he had to stop for water. Now he can go off and explore and... and get into trouble like a normal dog and as if walking out from his appointment wasn't enough he came home to his first walk with his brother pork chop the blind pig the happiest creature you'll ever meet in tampa allison morrow abc action news